The first thing you need to figure out if you're gonna get this bent over barbell row is you, you have to know how to set up. And I've mentioned this previously, but if you can't do a perfect RDL with leg drive, not feeling it in your low back, you're not gonna be able to do a row. It's just, it's the row is more complicated and the RDL is a prerequisite to being able to do this. So what I would suggest is you spend time mastering the Romanian deadlift or the hip hinge or the, um, uh, the you know, bent over stiff legged deadlift kind of thing. It's, it's not a straight legged exercise, so I shouldn't be trying to do it that way, but the shin should be about vertical, right? I, I like to tell people, it's not that I want your knees locked out, but I do want them just soft. I don't want them to bend that much, but I do want them soft. So in learning the RDL, we have to learn how to hinge at the hips. We have to learn how to keep a neutral spine so that I'm not driving any motion through the spine. I'm treating the, the midsection, the core there, as a stability unit instead of trying to get my motion from there, right? That's, that's what we've learned from um, spinal health research. It's that the spine should be able to move, yes, but if I'm doing stuff under load, like a bent over RDL, or um, sorry, a bent over row or an RDL, then I need to keep that spine, keep everything stacked on top of itself, and keep that stiff as a unit. And then that allows me to then generate force in my limbs. That allows me to drive my hips forward so that I can finish a deadlift, for example. <clears throat> so um, I've already made some videos about the RDL. I've made a hundred about deadlifting. So I don't want to rehash all of that. I want you to go back and watch that, but I kind of want to inspire you to think about it that way, right? If I'm doing a row, I need to be able to hold myself bent over. And if all I can feel is my low back while I'm doing that, then I'm not gonna be able to throw in the rowing motion as well, because it's just, it, the rowing motion feeds low back activity, and I'm not looking for that. I'm, I'm looking for it to, I'm looking for you to stabilize in the lumbar spine, in the lower back area, so that your upper back can be doing the rowing, so that your shoulder blades can drive this motion and not your spine. So first and foremost, if you wanna learn the bent over row, you have to master the RDL.